Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Alex and I hope you're all feeling good today. Now, I don't know if you noticed there are a lot of rumours around social media about Prince William in regards to the word pegging. Where did this rumour come from? Let us know in the comments. This lurid social media rumour has appeared at the same time at, as this story. Prince Harry's ex reportedly broke up with him after being spooked by Prince William and Kate Middleton. Here's another slightly different title, leaving out William. Prince Harry's ex reportedly broke up with him after being spooked by Prince William and Kate Middleton. This story has appeared and it's taken from a book that was released over a year ago and it makes me wonder is it being put out because of this other internet rumour that is doing the rounds? Because it's a bit of a nowhere story. It says here, according to the book Battle of Brothers about Princes William and Harry, royal expert Robert Lacey claims William and Kate's royal tour of New Zealand and Australia spooked Cressida. Of course, Cressida Bonas was in a relationship with Harry before Meghan. He writes, a rising actress, Rosita did not enjoy the critical remarks that she could hear people making behind her back when she walked down the street in London. She felt that the fame of her relationship put her in a box. In 2014, she was said to have been completely spooked after watching the TV coverage of William and Kate touring New Zealand with baby George in tow. That was not the way she would want to enjoy her eight-month-old son, she regretfully explained to Harry. At the time of their split, a friend said, it's very sad that they have decided to split, but this is a completely amicable separation and they are remaining the very best of friends. Harry and Cressida remained friends and the actress was invited to Meghan and Harry's royal wedding back in 2018. Now, it seems a bit of a coincidence that this story is being circulated at the same time as this one here. Of course, this story is not being circulated on the big mainstream media platforms. Are they trying to cover something up? Here we see in the cut. Who could the Prince of Pegging be? It says here, Poor Prince William doomed never to escape rumours of that business with that Marchioness, nor of his alleged inability to type though it is the former that concerns us today. Prince William Affair was trending on Twitter yesterday in conjunction with a much more eye-catching hashtag that suggested Britain's future king has already been crowned the Prince of Pegging. Now, like I said before, I don't want to go into the details, but what I'm interested in is where did this so-called rumor come from and how did it circulate so much so that it was trending on Twitter. Well, it turns out it came from a gossip site, Du Moi. Prince William Affair and Prince of Pegging are two trending topics on Twitter right now. A blind item was posted by a gossip account at Du Moi, and readers think that it's all about Prince William. The person who sent in the tip started off by saying, this is so salacious, I'm almost too shook to share with you but will anyway. Now, I'm used to talking about negative stories from anonymous sources which are directed against Meghan and Harry, but here we seem to have one against William. But then in some other articles, they are saying, which prince is it? But it was William who ended up trending, and while I am no fan of the royal family or of how they use the media to manipulate the public, especially in regards to their royal reporters deliberately negatively reporting on Meghan and Harry because they see them as a threat to the royal family because they are now independent and don't sponge off the UK public. So you know I'm no fan of them. But I can't help but think that this kind of thing, the anonymous sources saying something outrageous, making claims with no evidence, and then it being published by a gossip site who have a large following, but also have a disclaimer that says Statements made on this account have not been independently confirmed. This account does not claim any information published is based in fact. 
is it not somewhat reckless? We've seen this time and time again, reports, claims, accusations from anonymous sources that are then amplified through the media. It's meaningless and maybe people have fun sharing this stuff around, or they see it as fun, or it's just a bit of a laugh. But when it's from someone anonymous, promoted by a company with millions of followers, who state that they put out what they put out is confirmed, it's creating an environment of anything goes. Now I don't know if this claim is true or not, but seeing there is no evidence and it's anonymous, it could be from anyone. And because there is no name attached and no evidence to back it up, it should be dismissed. And a company with millions of followers shouldn't just be putting this stuff out willy-nilly. It creates a hyper-reality online, where nobody knows what the truth is. And surely we don't live in a world where someone can make a claim against someone else and not have any evidence for that claim, and can remain anonymous and just put it out there and it's then shared by loads of people. Imagine if that happened to you, it's not something that should be encouraged. There should always be evidence to back up a claim like this, some form of verification or documentation that can validate the claim, especially if it is as a salacious a claim as this one. If there are too many lies, then how can anyone know the truth?